Hello YouTube. Today's discussion is about 4G mobile network, which is currently not in the UK at the moment. Um, it's being trialled in London by one of the big operators in the UK called O2. Um, and the big question is, will it replace 3G networking? So after looking at this video, which I'm going to show you a little bit of in a minute, um, yes, I'd say it was, it will actually overtake. 3G and I reckon it would overtake it by so much more than what we've already got now so with 3G at the moment in the UK especially um, you pay you pay a certain price for a certain amount of gigabytes and you get very good data for the amount that you pay for so you know you're, you're never without data um, but the speeds aren't exactly the best speeds that you can possibly get now if you want to see a little bit about that why don't you check out one of my videos that I've already got on YouTube uh, it's called the 3G test so ch check that out on my channel if you want to see a little bit about 3G and how it works if you're not already familiar with that um, so anyway yeah 3G is good for data you get a lot of data and you can practically use it everywhere you go in the UK or if you've got it in the US and you can practically go anywhere in the US as well um, and then obviously that's good but with 4G it's not just going to be that that's the problem um, that's going to be the best part sorry with 4G apparently the speed is going to be good as well so that is the next step forward and that is also an advantage for having uh, 4G as well um, but the biggest question out of the whole lot is although it's going to be faster and it's what they're claiming is going to be faster Will, will this overtake stuff like your normal broadband connection well I don't think it will do because at the moment if you decide to use 3G instead of a broadband connection you're going to find yourself running out of a lot of um, data very quickly and it means you'd probably end up paying a bomb you, you know you, you'd be paying way too much money it would be much cheaper just to get a broadband connection so that's going to be the same thing with 4G because you're going to run out of data very quickly so it's still going to be easier just to get a proper connection and pay whatever you pay a month for your connection but the difference with 4G is the speed and that's going to be something that is really good because um, this video is just going to show you now that you can download a whole series of a, well, a whole, whole television series and do it in less than a minute so that's really good and I'll just quickly show you it now of mobile phone networks is called 4G. It's not going to be here in the UK till 2013 at the earliest, but there are trials going on. Uh, there's one big trial across London run by O2, not available on handsets yet. Technology isn't in the handsets yet, but uh, the trial is taking place through these dongles. I've got one of these dongles, and we're here at a test site uh, inside the O2 with Derek McManus uh, from the company. So I've got this dongle. Uh, let's run a speed test, okay. shall we? Um, and let's see how fast we're actually getting. So, wow, that is going up to, well, over 90, 90 megs. So just how does that compare with what I might get these days? Well, even at its best, that's 10 times better than the best conditions you'll get in 3G. But on average, that's probably 20 times better than you're actually getting in day-to-day -day life. Yeah, so this is m promises to be much faster than you get in, in many cases in the home down a fixed line. Yes, uh, I mean if you say the average in the home is probably under 8 meg, that's 10 times what you get even in the home. Right, of course we should point out that that's without anybody else being on the network, we've got it to ourselves at the moment. I'm going to run another little test here, I'm going to download an episode of uh, Frozen Planet. Um, let's see, that's a pretty big file. So that's begun to download. Uh, it's going pretty rapidly. I mean, the, uh, the other advantage this gives you is in rural areas, uh, which have got poor connections, um, this could, could provide an alternative. Well, that's a possible opportunity because you could use it rurally to replace fixed broadband. So people could get um, reasonably good broadband speeds, a lot better than you even get today. Uh, using mobile technology in rural areas. And how soon is this actually going to be available for people? So 2013, uh, there's still a few things like Spectrum in the way, but uh, the trial's proving that you can see a significant difference in what you see today. We've downloaded that program uh, in 
Um, well, I'd say probably about a minute. That's 4G performance for you, downloading a program in around a minute. Have to remember, it's still a couple of years before we get this technology. When we do get it, it's bound to be patchier than this sort of perfect performance here. And the other question is, why is the UK still a bit behind other countries in the deployment of 4G? So many places have already got 3G as well, apparently. That's why the UK is still very behind in this kind of technology. Um, so yes, that is really good. Considering the amount of speed that you get just for a little tiny dongle compared to what a wired root, um, wired broadband connection gives you, you're getting more on a little dongle than what you would do on an actual fiber optic broadband. So that does show a big improvement. But like I say, it still won't really take over having a broadband connection because you don't have, an, you know, on on a on a little dongle, you run out of data and that's it. You know, and then you have to top again and that cost you extra money so you do end up spending a little bit more extra than what you would for a fiber optic connection each month but I think this has got potential if you've got a little dongle um, I own a little dongle as well which is really good um, that's only 3G obviously so I would have to upgrade to a 4, 4G uh, dongle if I wanted to use it but it just shows you that this is the new technology that's coming and it does have potential so I think probably that it's, it's a good it's a good way to start off, and maybe in future to come, um, actual fiber optic connections will be probably be better again than a dongle. Hopefully, so that's what I reckon of 4G. What's your opinion on 4G? Do you reckon it's going to take off very well? Have you already got 4G? Is this old news to you? Let us know how it's going. You know, we, all, all of your um, opinions are welcome. So just post away, and um, I will see you in my next video.